very good morning children today is day 9 and we are dealing with the topic the fish tail and today we are going to learn yet another new concept that is operation of in mathematics there is one operation called of of in mathematics that means multiplication but it is a little different from regular multiplication here we generally uh, take a fraction of a whole okay whenever we use this of it generally means a part of okay so for for example we have half part of 24 if 24 has to be made into two parts then it will be equal to 12 each okay so half of 24 means half into 24 and half into 24 becomes see 1 it has to be multiplied by 24 the numerator is multiplied to numerator and denominator to remains as it is so 24 ones are 24 divided by 2 24 divided into two equal parts makes 12 each okay so half of 24 is 12 likewise one third of 24 means 1 into 24 24 ones are 24 divided by 3 24 divided into three equal parts so 3 eights are 24 so answer becomes 8 one third of 24 is nothing but 8 Similarly, three fourth of twenty four. Here in these two examples, I was taking one half, one third, but this is three fourth of twenty four. So here I will multiply similarly three into twenty four. So three into twenty four that makes seventy two. So both the uh, numerators have to be multiplied. Three into Here, this of means into three into twenty four makes seventy two, and this divided by four uh, goes here as divided by four itself. Seventy two divided by four, so four ones are four, three left thirty two, four eights are thirty two, eighteen fours are seventy two, so answer is eighteen. Likewise, I'll request you to solve these three sums. we have to find 1/3 of 36 that is 1 into 36 divided by 3 so 36 should be divided into three equal parts yes it makes 12 3 12s are 36 so answer will be 12 here again here 1/4 of 60 so 1 into 60 60 ones are 60 divided by 4 Sixty. If you divide into four equal parts, half of sixty is thirty, and half of it again is fifteen. Fifteen fours are sixty. So answer here is fifteen. Similarly, this is two fifth, two fifth of fifty. So I will multiply two into fifty. Two into fifty makes hundred. Hundred divided into five equal parts. So five twenty zar makes hundred. Twenty five zar hundred. If you add five twenties, it will make hundred. So twenty five twenty zar hundred. So answer here becomes twenty. Is it clear, children? Now we shall move on to a little further concept that is, uh, see here, Ram ate half of an apple. There is one apple, and you cut into two equal parts. Ram eats one part. so what part is left now he is left with another half part of the apple so here half plus half makes one full so what actually we have to do is there is one an apple means one apple one apple minus half one minus half if you make in one there are two halves so answer will be another part that is another half will be left similarly look at this question tanu gave 1/4 to 
of the cake to his brother. So, how into how many parts he divided the cake? Four equal parts. There is one cake and he has divided into four equal parts and one part is given to his brother. How many parts are left now? Yes, out of four, one part is gone. So, remaining will be three. Out of four, one part is gone. So, remaining will be three. Three upon four. So, three upon four part, that is three fourth part of the cake is left. Okay. Now, we shall solve some question that involves the operation of. See here, the first question. Fresh fish after drying reduced to one third of their weight. If you take fresh fish from the market and keep it in the sun by putting salt, you might have seen dried uh, fish also. So, actually dried fish are made by drying the fish by uh, like using salt the fish are kept in the sun and dried and then they are sold even people eat dry fish so fresh fish are the ones which you just catch it from the river pond or lake or, or ocean or sea so once you get the fish the, those are called as fresh fish so once you dry them they will reduce to one third of their weight okay so if Joseph is buying 60 kg fresh fish okay, and dries them all, he will dry all the 60 kg in the sun, then what will be its weight? So, let us find out. See, how do we solve? Weight of fresh fish we will write down, 60 kg. And when dried, it becomes equal to one third of the weight. So, one third of is into and what is the weight he has purchased? 60 kg. One third of 60. So, 1 by 3 into 60. It makes 1 into 60. 60 ones are 60 in the numerator and this divided by 3 will come here. So, divide 60 into 3 equal parts. So, it makes 20 kg. So, if you take 60 kg fresh fish and dry, it, here it is going to become 20 kg according to this question. Now let us see this question. Fresh chilies. See even chilies uh, like plucked from uh, all, all of you might have seen your parents purchasing some chilies from the market and then they will uh, keep it in the sun, dry it, make them red chilies and then they uh, make powder of it and it is used for cooking. So here even for tadka, yes, even for tadka, these chilies are used. Fresh chilies, when dried, reduce to one fourth of their weight. Okay. Now, Ranu buys 100 kg of fresh chilies and dries them all. What will be the weight of the dried chilies? You have to find. First, we will write weight of fresh chilies, that is 100 kg, and then when dried, they become one fourth of the weight. One fourth of the weight. It's given here. When dried, they reduce to one fourth of the weight. So one fourth of is yes into and the weight how much is purchased? Hundred kg. So one fourth into hundred. Here one into hundred. Hundred ones are hundred divided by four equal parts. You divide it into four equal parts. So, 100 divided into four equal parts makes 25. So, each part is 25 because 25, 25 plus 25 plus 25 makes 100. Okay. Now, there are few sums for you. You can solve. First one, fresh grapes when dried reduce to one third their weight. Atmaram buys 120 kg fresh grapes and dries them all. What will be the weight of dried grapes? So, first, how many, what is the weight of fresh grapes? 120 kgs. In second line, the, when dried, the grapes will reduce to 
वन थर्ड ऑफ द वेट सो वन थर्ड ऑफ वॉट इज द वेट वन ट्वेंटी के जी वन थर्ड इंटू वन ट्वेंटी सो वन इंटू वन ट्वेंटी मेक्स हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी डिवाइड बाई थ्री सो वन ट्वेंटी इफ यू डिवाइड इट इंटू थ्री इक्वल पार्ट दी आंसर विल बिकम येस फोर्टी के जी सिमिलरली फ्रेश डेट्स इवन सी डेट्स कैन बी ड्राइड uh what do you call uh, dry dates in uh, hindi the wet dates are called khajur okay chuara correct fresh dates that is khajur when dried they'll become chuara they reduce to two third of their weight fine karutamma buys 90 kg of fresh dates that is fresh khajur she will purchase 90 kg and she dries them all what will be the weight of dried grapes now you should remember the dried grapes are reducing to 2/3 of the weight so 2/3 into 90 so 2 into 90 makes 180 divided by 3 so 180 you have to divide into 3 equal parts that makes any guess yes 60 kg similarly see even ginger okay what you call in hindi as adrak when dried reduce to 2/3 of its weight do you know what is dry ginger called in hindi sont okay so fresh ginger that is adrak when dried becomes sont it reduces to 2/3 of the weight mani vannan by is 100 kg of fresh ginger and dries it all what will be the weight of dry ginger so yes what will you do 2 upon 5 into the weight that is 100 so 2 into 100 makes 200 divided by 5 200 divided into 5 equal parts makes 40 so when you take 100 kg fresh ginger dry them all it may become 40 kg when it dries okay so these three sums are for you to solve solve it and we shall meet tomorrow till then bye children